Number 20. George Washington and the American Foxhound. America's first president was not only the father of his country, but also the father of the American Foxhound. He carefully bred and maintained his dogs, listing more than 30 hounds in his journals, including ones named Drunkard, Tipler, and Tipsy. Number 19. Abraham Lincoln and Fido. Abraham Lincoln and his family had a dog named Fido while they lived in Springfield, Illinois. Fido was born around 1855 and lived with the Lincolns for five years. Fido followed Lincoln in the streets of his town carrying stuff like the newspaper for his owner. The dog's breed is not certain, but it resembles a retriever shepherd mix. Number 18. Benjamin Harrison with Dash. The Harrisons had a mixed breed collie named Dash. The dog belonged to the president's wife, Carolyn Harrison. He was probably their favorite dog because, unlike their other dogs, Dash had a private dog house next to the White House. The president thought people would think less of him if they saw him show affection for his dog, so he rarely played with his pets. The president had other dogs named Jack, but there isn't much info about this dog. Number 17 Theodore, Roosevelt and Skip Teddy Roosevelt had two terriers by the names of Skip and Jack. Skip is the most known of the two because he was mentioned several times in Teddy Roosevelt's letters to his children. Roosevelt wrote that the dog was good for hunting, but that all he wants to do now is sleep all day. Skip passed away during Roosevelt's time at the White House, and he was buried on the grounds, but was reburied on his family's estate when the storm was up. Number 16 Warren G. Harding and Letty Boy. According to the Smithsonian Magazine, Harding's beloved Airedale Terrier, Letty Boy, was the first presidential dog to receive regular press in the country's newspapers. The dog even attended cabinet meetings in his own custom-made chair and held full press conferences. After Harding passed away, while in office in 1923, a life-size statue of Letty Boy was Number 15. Calvin Coolidge and Rob Roy. Growing up on a farm, Calvin Coolidge was an animal lover. He once said, any man who does not like dogs and want them about does not deserve to be in the White House. He had a white collie named Rob Roy. They wanted it to be seen by the nation as part of their family. The dog posed in a picture with the first family on the south portico steps. This was the first time a dog was included in an official first family photo portrait. Number 14. Herbert Hoover and King Tut. The German shepherd dog named King Tut helped to get Hoover elected. A picture of Hoover and his dog was sent to thousands of voters which made the candidate seem warm and friendly. King Tut came with him in the White House and remained visible to the public eye, every night patrolling the White House fences. Number 13. President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Feller. President Franklin D. Roosevelt had a Scottish terrier named Feller. Feller was given to him as a present by Miss August G. Kellogg of Westport. His dog was loved. He had a bone brought to him each morning on the president's own breakfast tray. The dog is also said to have had a special chair at the foot of President Roosevelt's bed. In 1944, when he was running for his fourth term, he accidentally left Fella behind on the Aleutian Islands. Roosevelt allegedly sent back ships. Number 12. Harry S. Truman's Feller in December of 1947, a pup was given to the Truman family. 
they named the dog Feller. But President Truman wasn't thrilled with his gift. The Trumans gave the unsolicited gift to the White House physician. After press started deriding the physician, he gave the dog to a naval admiral. Feller was destined to remain at Camp David and became known as the unwanted dog. Number 11. President Dwight D. Eisenhower and Heidi. President Eisenhower had a Weimaraner named Heidi. The dog was a gift to him from Arthur Summerfield. In a letter to Summerfield, President Eisenhower said, Heidi is definitely an asset to life in the White House. She covered on the South Lawn at a great rate, with such important projects as chasing squirrels and investigating what might be under bushes. She is beautiful and well-behaved. Occasionally she tends towards stubbornness, but is then immediately apologetic about it. And she is extremely affectionate and seemingly happy. I am constantly indebted to you both for giving her to me. Number 10. President John F. Kennedy Jr. with his family dogs. President John F. Kennedy Jr. is seen here with Mrs. Kennedy and Caroline Kennedy with Pushinka's puppies, Blackie and White Tips, and family dogs Shannon, Clipper, Wolfie and Charlie. Pushinka, which means fluffy in Russian, has the dubious distinction of being a gift from former Soviet Union Premier Nikita Khrushchev. Despite the unsavory source, however, all indications were that Pushinka was a good dog, and she gave birth to several puppies who hung around with the Kennedys for a number of years. Number 9. Lyndon B. Johnson and Him President Lyndon Johnson had two dogs by the name of Him and Her. The two were registered beagles born on June 27, 1963. President Johnson played with the dogs and was photographed with them frequently. In 1964, President Johnson raised the ire of many when he took a picture raising him by his ears while greeting a group on the White House lawn. Number 8. President Richard Nixon and Checkers Richard Nixon's dog, Checkers, saved his political career by becoming the subject of a speech. In the speech, known as the Checkers speech, Nixon deflected criticism that he was taking illegal campaign donations proving the only thing that was given to him was a cocker spaniel, named Checkers by his daughter. Checkers, however, didn't make it to the White House, as she died in 1964. Number 7. President Gerald Ford and his Golden Retriever President Gerald Ford and wife Betty Ford were given an 8-month dog by their daughter Susan Ford. The dog was called Liberty and was a golden retriever. Liberty was often photographed with President Ford in the Oval Office, Camp David, and on the south lawn of the White House. Number 6. President Jimmy Carter and the Grits President Carter's daughter, Amy, was given a dog by her teacher at the public school she attended. The dog was named Grits, had to be returned to the teacher. Number 5. President Ronald Reagan and Lucky. Ronald Reagan was the owner of two dogs, a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel named Rex and a Bouvier de Flanders known as the Belgian cattle dog called Lucky. Lucky was a gift who started as a small bundle of fur but grew to be pretty large. During a visit of Margaret Thatcher to the White House, Lucky dragged President Reagan across the White House lawn. This was thought to be a humiliation, so Lucky was dispatched to the ranch in California. Number 4. President George H. W. Bush and Millie George H. W. Bush had a spring spaniel called Millie, who had a puppy named Ranger. Millie has been subject of a book which sold more than the George H. W. Bush autobiography itself. Millie passed away in 1997 from 
pneumonia. Number three, President Bill Clinton with Buddy. Bill Clinton was a true lab lover. Bill Clinton had a chocolate Labrador called Budweiser, affectionately known to the rest of the world as Buddy. Buddy lived in the White House as an official presidential pet. Buddy was a celebrity on himself. His days in the White House included many photo ops of playing ball, going for runs, and being snuggled. The White House cat sucks though, didn't get along quite well with Buddy. Number 2. President George W. Bush and Barney. George Bush and his wife, Mrs. Laura Bush, had two Scottish Terriers called Barney and Miss Beasley. Barney joined the Bush family after the 2000 presidential election as a gift of President Bush to his wife Laura. The other dog, Miss Beasley, was a birthday gift from President Bush to his wife in 2004 and arrived at the White House on January 6, 2005. There was so much demand for information about them that the White House created a website, Barney.gov. It can still be visited today in its archived form. Number 1. President Barack Obama and Bo. During his campaign, President Obama promised his two daughters, Malia and Sasha, that they will get a puppy. Their choice was down to two dogs, a Portuguese water dog and a Labradoodle holding Malia's allergies into consideration. They finally picked a black and white Portuguese water dog and they named him Bo. The dog was a gift from Senator Edward M. Kennedy who owned several Portuguese water dogs himself.